they come across, the Enterprise comes across to derelict spaceship yes. in the year 1996, correct? From the year 1996, yes. From the year 1996, the USS Botany Bay, right? And it's named after a prison colony in Australia. Is that correct? Yeah. I don't know if it's the USS because it may just be the Botany Bay. It might okay. just be like the SS Botany Bay. But at any rate, it is a spaceship called the Botany Bay. Mm -hmm. It's got life forms on it. Yep. But it doesn't they don't know what they are because their heartbeats are really slow and their respiration is slow, etc. But it just kind of seems to be stranded and it's kind of sending out like this distress signal that something's gone wrong. So they decide to board the ship and check it out. And it's basically a sleeper ship that just is full of these people who are kind of in a stasis sleep. And they end up waking up the main one, and it's this guy, Khan Noonien Singh, who is this advanced kind of genetic superhuman, who, with a bunch of other similar superhumans, escaped Earth during the eugenics wars, um, which is something that supposedly happened in the 1990s. Which is funny because people were watching this in the 1960s. Yeah. And like, oh, that's so far in the future. And now for us, it's like, oh, that's the year I graduated high school, 1996. And they were like, humans didn't have the capacity to do much more than interplanetary travel until 2018. And I'm like, that was four years ago. We still don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> but, they promised a lot when we were younger. Well, that just didn't I mean, happen. I think it makes sense, though, because you have to imagine 1969 is when we landed on the moon. Yeah. And only 66 years before that was the first time there was ever any flight of any kind. Mm -hmm. So within 60, what did I just say, 66 years, we went from not being able to even fly a plane yeah. to landing on the damn moon. That's big. That's a huge jump in That's technology. Big. Yeah. So I think that they thought that, you know, with the space race, all these countries were very interested in space travel and very invested in it. And I think that they thought that we would just continue to be like that and continue to have these exponential jumps in technological advancement to do with space. But... They didn't realize that people don't want to spend money on that, unfortunately. <laughs> it was a money problem. Um, and it still is a money problem. And the people that we see going to space now are these super rich weirdos who just are like, we need to colonize other planets because we're destroying this one. Instead of fixing this one, let's find another. Woo! Um, okay, good. So... <laughs> Why can't we do a little bit of both? I don't know. Everybody thinks everything is a zero-sum game. We've discussed this before. And back to Star Trek. <laughs> Let me throw in one more digression fast. But I think interesting. So, they find Botany Bay, which is the sleeper ship. And what it made me think about was the film Aliens. Mm. How they yeah. find this derelict ship, yeah. right? And they find Ripley. And I wonder, well... Did someone see this Star Trek episode and think, what if we went in a much darker direction? I mean, it's possible. Yeah. Because I do think that the other thing you have to say about Star Trek is that it was pretty hugely influential. I'm not saying it was the only thing that was hugely influential, because speaking of 2001, it came out like around the same time that Star Trek was happening. Yep. And like the technological advancement in how they filmed space and spaceships and that are like insane yeah i mean you could obviously they had a ton more money than poor old star trek the original series had on cbs trying to stumble along i mean we saw today um some set pieces and some costumes from the original series yeah and the poor quality of the clothes they were wearing is just crazy to me Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I know that they're old, so we're looking at something that's super old. Yeah. But, like, McCoy's shirt, the the neckline of that was so stretched out and messed up. Yeah. And <laughs> you could just tell that they had no money. Well, and then, you know, like we talked about, 
for the the second film, they had to recycle these things from CBS to to make Wrath of Khan. They had to go back to that. Now I I don't know. They might have even recycled some costume pieces. I, I don't no, recall. I, I don't, think it was just set pieces. I think it was just set pieces. The reason I say is because they had the different uniforms in those. Mm -hmm. um, in the old in the old series, they just had like those kind of pullover sweater tops that were like velour or something. Yeah. Or knit, but in this they had like the tunic style mm -hmm. shirts that kind of became the standard look um, going forward. Um, and actually, I think the costumes in this are pretty awesome. So that's another sidebar piece. Well, um, and here's a quick one on that: when they actually go on to regular one, okay, when uh, they're on there with. Um, it's McCoy and Savick and Kirk. Mm -hmm. And they go to regular one and they find there's been this slaughter. Yes. And it turns into a horror film. Has a real Empire Strikes Back vibe to it. They have a close-up on Shatner with his collar up. Yes. Which looks very similar in my mind, though different colors, to Harrison Ford, Deckard, and Blade Runner. That's interesting. Which also came out in 1982. I just thought it was funny that he had, like, a pop collar, like, on his coat. Everybody else has their collar, like, down. But Kirk has to be cool. So yeah. he's popped his. He's a cool dude. Yeah, it's Kirk. He's cool. But it's Kirk. just like, well, when you see that mixture of just all these, these science fiction elements coming together, and 2001 came out in 1968, 1969 and then this episode space seed was 1967 so yeah everything yeah. is is influencing each yeah. other and it's around that same time and people were just so excited yeah about like space at that moment that was like a huge thing in like even i wouldn't just say the national mind but like the international mind like everybody in the world was really excited about space race and all this kind of stuff Thank you.